In this short video, I'll be showing you the edit pipe profile multiple command, which is part of the CGS Civil 3D tools. In this video, we're just going to be looking at the editing um, multiple pipes in a profile view. And if anybody's used Civil 3D, when they create pipe runs, often they come in, yes, you've got rules that try to uh, design it the way you want, but it doesn't always come out that way. And, you know, you might have a whole bunch of pipes and you're needing edited. And now you've decided, well, hang on a second. I just really want to go from here, clear down to here at, say, 2% or something like that. So what we've come up with is this edit pipe profile multiple. And it says select my view, which is this one. And then it says select your first element. So I'm going to go from this structure here to uh, this structure here. And up here at the top, it shows me my profile view name, the starting structure, and the ending structure. I've got a total 2D length of this pipe. I'm going to line them by the invert. And now I've got a whole bunch of options in here. So I've got drop, reference, location. So here I've got slope, start, elevation, and drop. These are all the different ways I can design this. Slope, end elevation, and drop. I want to specify the slope, the start elevation. Okay, so we're going to start this one. I want to specify the, the slope, the start elevation, and the drop. Okay, so here's the slope. I'm going to say, yeah, the slope here, I really want it to be 2%. My start elevation, I'm fine with that. And I might actually have a drop between all these manholes of, say, 0.3. And I can come in here and I go preview. And that's basically showing me what's going to happen. So if I go apply there's just change all of those pipes between those two different structures and like I said we could change this and say well you know I really liked that but I actually really want to go the slope the end elevation and the drop so now what I'm going to do here is I'm say well let's just change this to say um, one percent so if this works out correct then we should see this pipe here drop down so if we go preview there's 1%. It's holding this one, and it's coming on back, and I can go apply, and there it's all holding at 